Praise the Lord, everybody. And this is Bishop Warren Boyd, and I want to welcome you to Monday Motivation. It's our opportunity to get a, a lift for the week. Uh, this morning, I want to take you on a, a trip down memory lane. I was recently recalling some uh, some things from my, my college days, and I know that's been quite a few years now. Uh, but these are some things that, that really stuck with me. Uh, there were certainly some, some good things. Uh, there was the camaraderie of the basketball team and other athletes. There was uh, activities of the Black Student Union, which uh, uh, were, were really good uh, for uh, us. I, uh, but but uh, the school I went to was, uh, was not predominantly African-American, and so there was the culture shock of that. There was uh, also the issue of of uh, food and uh, the food was not good and so uh, there, there were there were certain struggles uh, but there was one thing that I, uh, I distinctly remember about those days in college and that was getting a letter or a package from home and uh, no matter how old you are uh, you're never too old to appreciate and get really excited about a letter from home. So the letter or package would, would come uh, and there was always something good in it. Um, but the letter or the package uh, always expressed the fact that somebody loved you, that somebody was thinking about you, that somebody cared for you. And no matter uh, where it was that you, you picked the package or the letter up, uh, I always wanted to see what was in it as soon as possible. Whether it was a check or whether it was food, uh, something uh, to, to help sustain me, it was always the contents of the letter uh, that was so important. And so it, it was with eagerness that I always opened up uh, the contents of the letter because the contents really expressed the love uh, that, that somebody had for me. I knew that somebody loved me. And today I, I want to, to encourage you that somebody loves you. And I know uh, sometimes we toss the word love around uh, really casually uh, with not much, much meaning. You know, we talk about loving food and, and loving a certain restaurant or loving a certain event. But, but sometimes that definition of, of love is very shallow. But I wanted to tell you today that, that somebody loves you and somebody sent a letter to you to express that love to you. And that, that letter is the Bible that we have. The Bible is God's letter to us to express his love to us. But it is not enough just to have the Bible. It is important that you open it up to reveal the contents of God's love for you. It's never good enough just to display the Bible. It's never good enough just to have the latest Bible or latest Bible app without ever opening it, because it's the opening of it that reveals the, the content that contents that express the depth of God's love for you and I. He tells us that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever would believe in him would not perish but have everlasting love. He tells us no greater love has no man than this, that a man would lay down his life for his friend. It is through the contents of the Bible that we realize uh, God, God's real love and the depth of his love for us. So it's not enough just to have a Bible. It's not enough just to display a Bible. But with eagerness, you need to open his letter to you today. I, I want to remind you today that somebody loves you and he loved you enough to send you his letter open his letter today. God bless you.